Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Jack Graham here, showing you the best deals out here in Las Vegas Valley. Today, we are touring a beautiful, quick move-in home uh, built by Pulte. We're looking at the park claim floor plan, and I'm gonna tell you guys why I believe that this is a great deal uh, in this current market right now. So, right here, right in front of us, we have a home that is listed right now on the market for sale for $616,000. This is a beautiful single story with four full bedrooms, three bathrooms, a, a two car garage on this one, because when you put the fourth bedroom, you do have, uh, it gets rid of the 10 and third car garage, right? Uh, so it makes it a fourth bedroom. We have a nice, uh, nice location also. Over on that side, you get some beautiful mountain views. The thing is from your backyard, I don't think you see them. And then over on this side of the of the lot, those people have beautiful strip views. Uh, we are located up in the northwest of the Las Vegas Valley. To be specific, we are in Sky Hills, the master plan community of Sky Hills. HOAs are a little bit over $100. You get a gated community out here. And uh, it's, it's just a very nice uh, neighborhood overall. We have uh, on this side, the park lane floor plan is uh, 2462 square feet. However, in this floor plan right here, uh, it's actually a little bit more than that. It's about 2,700 square feet total because we have an extra bedroom, as I mentioned, in place of the third car garage. But having 2,700 square feet, we only have a two car garage, however. When you walk in, you have your living room right there. You have a den over here. And then in the back right there behind the kitchen, you have uh, the primary bedroom. Over to the right, you have an ensuite over here in place of the third car garage. And then on this side, we have another two bedrooms. So now that you know the map of the house a little bit, let's go over what they did in this home. As you walk in, you'll find right away in all the big areas, this uh, nice wood-like tile. Looks great, modern, nice and warm feel. We have two undermount sinks. We have the culture marble, not, not culture marble, it's Piedrafina quartz. And uh, shaker cabinet, nice gray shaker cabinet, which is what's included. And I'm surprised how well this gray goes with this flooring. It gives a little bit of a, kind of throws you off a little bit. It says, hey, look at this, nice and modern. And then you have a nice warm flooring that has some grays in it. Maybe on the video it doesn't show as much, but it does have some gray, so it ties in very well with it. Uh, fiberglass enclosure here, they didn't do any upgrades on that one. However, this for a secondary bathroom is plenty for most people, so. Eight foot doors in the house, nine foot ceilings. We have also right here, the first bedroom, 11 by 13, very spacious. And then a walk-in closet, closet as well, this one. They did do also the pre-wire here for the ceiling fan. And that walk-in closet right here, pretty good size. On the other side, we'll see the linen closet in between. And then the other bedroom, this one is a little bit smaller, probably like an 11 by, by 12. And then it does have still that walk-in closet as well, right here. Get the window here onto the side of the bedroom. This will be the wall where you put the TV, I guess. It has a TV cable right there. Now we do have over here the coat closet. So when you come in from the front of the house, you can put in your coat in there. And then have a nice opening, about five feet opening right here. Six, probably seven feet over here. And about five and a half on that hallway. But when you walk in, it does feel kind of wide in here, which is nice. Let's see if the lights come on. There we go. Did upgrade uh, recess lights and all that stuff. So when you go here to the right, you'll find your entrance from the garage. As you can see, this will be your two car garage. The house will come with tankless water heater. I think they still haven't painted this garage because I know uh, Pulte does finish the garages, but it's weird that they didn't do it. I wonder if this is not included. Huh. Um, your soft water loop right here. You get the tankless water heater and then irrigation system. So everything you need is in here. But this, I would definitely get it finished by the builder if, if I were to put in an offer for you. 
Now, the price is 616 out the door for this house. This is a quick move in. It could close as soon as you want it to close. It could close in a week if you're buying cash. All right, uh, a loan is probably going to take about 30 days. So they have some great incentives, however. So depending if you're going cash or not, we could get you something, uh, something, you know, a really good deal on this smart panel as well. This is going to be your washer, dryer, your sink over there. Now I've seen some people plug in a nice refrigerator right here. So that could be an option. You have a plug right next to it anyway. And it's a dedicated circuit so you can put in a refrigerator on it. All right, going in here, we have our ensuite. Ensuite is a little bit smaller, it's a 10 by 11, but it still feels like a pretty good size. This would be normally your third car garage, right? So this would be open to the garage. And then right here, you have that third car garage because they had to fit into this bedroom, into this space right here, which was the third car garage, a full bathroom as well, as you can see. Now they did pair up here, oh, hmm, not bad. I think they did a good job with it, but this floor right here is just when you have the zero threshold and you don't have a curb that separates it, you're getting a pretty, well, it's pretty nice. It's not bad. I feel like they could have done a better job with picking that tile right there. It does pop though and it looks nice. So when you have the zero threshold, it's technically not zero threshold because when you go into a shower, Palti has been doing this and I think it's a good thing because they have too many claims on this uh, not working well. What was happening before when they had the shower and go down with the with the water, it would splash here and all the water would go there and it kind of uh, make its way out. So what they did is they decided to put a little lip right here just so the water wouldn't go out and you still have all the water go down the drain. You know what I mean? Then you have right here that bench seat which is nice undermount sink nice screen water cabinet with the walk-in closet as well in here okay so we saw the first three bedrooms uh the first two bathrooms let's go see right now your powder room if they option for this one here i believe they did should be here yep so Landing closet, another one, plenty of storage in this house. And you have the pencil sink and toilet. This will be your guest bathroom or powder room, or whatever you want to call it. Now, one of the best parts of the, about this house, in addition to the open floor that we're gonna see in a second, is this huge den. So this is about 11 feet wide by 16 deep. So it's a really nice room to make it, for example, an office or an extra living room space. Um, you know, if you want to make it like a flex room, whatever it is, right? You can add some double doors right here and really get creative. Now it is a den, however, it is not a bedroom. It cannot be a bedroom and you can't turn it into a bedroom because it doesn't have uh, an emergency exit, which would be a window. Those are closed off windows. So you cannot, uh, you would have to change that into a regular window. Now look at this open floor plan. Great job with the selection, I believe here. Whoever bought this house and it ended up buying it, did a good job. It looks modern, it looks neutral. You got a little brown into it, a little grays. Look how big this open floor plan is. I mean, just to give you an example of how wide this is, this is about 24 feet wide from that wall to this wall. So it's spacious. Then over there we have that door itself is approximately 12 feet. You gotta add another two on each side right there. We have about 16 footer right there. If not even 17 or 18, that wall. So it's a spacious living room. And look at that dining room too. This is probably a 12 by 12. You know, plenty of room to put a nice big counter height square table, I'm thinking, you know. And then you get an access right here on this side as well. Because that sliding door that they put in the back, that's an option. You don't get that included, okay? Now, let's look at the kitchen. Do you have a Calcutta Quartz? A very famous countertop. People love this one. Then the included appliance package, you get the Whirlpool push in, I mean, uh, built-in stove, the microwave on top. And then the 36 inch cooktop with the canopy hood. Now I've sold homes in this community before, so I know what the builder is looking for in these neighborhoods. I've 
been dealing with them throughout the holidays <laughs> as uh, they are trying to sell uh, quite a few homes. Although I've seen a little bit of a rehearsal now. This is your refrigerator spot right here. I've seen a little bit of a rehearsal now, re reversal now, where instead of giving so many discounts that they were giving before, they're starting to pull back on those discounts and not sell these homes for as much. Because now that the year is over, they don't have to, they're not in a rush to sell them anymore. And I can see that reversal right now happening, I believe, in the in the real estate market. Uh, you know, it's a very high possibility that that could happen with the lower interest rates right now that we have. And also with the builders kind of getting rid of a lot of inventory with all the deals that they've done at the end of the year. All right, let's see. Full walking shower. It does have still the, um, what's it called? The zero threshold with one inch deeper, right? For the plates. And then that tile here all surrounding it, the full bench. You can make that benches. Love it. Now this one does not have the option with with the tub, but when they do that, you get a way bigger walk-in closet, which we'll see in a second. Two underground sinks. What do you guys think of this house? Let me know down in the comments. Is this something that you would purchase? Uh, is this a, a good deal? 617. I mean, I know these homes are selling it for 750 back then. And this is their asking price, 617. I mean, we could probably get you less than this, but it looks like a pretty good deal to me already. And let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the market. Do you think it's gonna go down even more? Are we gonna have a, refer a re reversal on the prices uh, coming in the next year? This one comes also with the full covered patio. Look at that. Nice. And then this community is all single stories, by the way. So you don't have anybody looking in, into your backyard, really. Uh, you have a pretty good size wall here. Your neighbor, you're gonna have to figure out something right here. Maybe add an extra layer of uh, bricks right there on the side of the house. Same thing uh, on the other one. Well, not necessarily on that side, but you still have a really good size backyard. This is about 21 feet from the house to the to the wall. It might not seem as much because uh, of the fisheye lens. However, it is a really good size backyard and it's about 60 feet wide. Also, no neighbors behind you. Over there, we, we have the mountains. I don't know what they're gonna build behind you, but for, uh, no neighbors at all in the backyard. Gas tub right there for your barbecue. Yeah, really nice house. I think a great opportunity if you're looking to buy a home and you want to get in as soon as possible, maybe get a good deal. Feel free to reach out to me. I'm uh, the real estate agent out here in Vegas that does uh, sell a bunch of new construction homes. That's what I specialize in, but I do also resale. So if you're interested in buying, uh, whether it's a resale home or new home, I can buy. I can guide you throughout that process and get you the best deal for you specifically. You might like this house or maybe you don't like the neighborhood or maybe you don't like whatever, right? I think this is a gorgeous neighborhood, but you know, some people don't, don't prefer this. They want to be in one of the top neighborhoods in Las Vegas. So it's always a case by case scenario. What I'm trying to get to is you have a certain situation in your life. If you're moving out here and you're looking to buy a home that there is a perfect home for you out there especially in this market where you have a lot of inventory. It's easy to find, but you just need to have the connections. And I'm that connection for you. I can get you into the perfect home. So feel free to reach out to me. All my information is down below in the description. We'd love to assist you and be your realtor. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys on the next video. If you haven't done so already, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.